Hey up, me odes. It is Rowie here. It is Friday. It is December, so that can only mean one thing. It is time for a bloody big beer with the bloody big lad. Uh, thank you very much indeed for swinging by. Um, yeah, with it being December, with it being Friday, I figured I'd break something out of the stash every single day. Something, well, every single day, that's absolute, that's outright lie. Talking absolute twaddle this early in. I figured out all of my beers this month would be big imperial stouts um, and... This is, um, this might be the second time this beer in some way, shape or form is featured on the channel. This is version three of the legendary Amundsen glazed and confused. This is barrel aged. I probably should have looked into what sort of barrel it was aged in, but uh, obviously I didn't. I mean, I could do that now, I suppose. I could just, um, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna. That would be sort of like too factual. That would be the sort of thing, uh, uh, the sort of thing that um, Real L Craft Beer would do, wouldn't it? That would be the sort of thing an actual beer reviewer would do, uh, and no one's tuning in for that nonsense. This is a cinnamon donut with a sticky toffee and maple glaze ultra pastry stout. This is coming in at a, um, well, no, I said incredible, it's about the average as it has been so far. This is a 13%, so the can has 4.5 um, units. Amundsen being one of my favorite international breweries, their Imperial Stouts are always great. The, um, they do the, uh, the, what are they called, dessert in a can? They do the dessert in a can, which are always fantastic, unless they're one of the fruit ones. Fruit and dessert, no thank you. But uh, the sort of more chocolatey, sort of mapley ones that they go with are always outstanding. Their IPAs are always banging. Uh, they're usually a bit green, in my opinion, but uh, I always think they're pretty belt in. I've actually got a couple of Amundsen glasses right here. This is one of the uh, dessert in a can, dessert in a can mini glasses. That is actually filthy because uh, it's just a decorative glass. And we have got a sweet little Amundsen pint pot there. I don't know who's drinking pints of Amundsen because their beers are so high ABV as a general rule. We will be using the Emperor's Brewery glass. I tell you what, it's quite early in the day, actually. It's only quarter to four. But um, I want to get this video out, and uh, I'm probably going to go to the pub with my housemate for a few uh, Christmas Bronsons. Uh, uh, split the G, as it's called when you drink a Guinness, the most uh, arbitrary and asinine thing that you can do with beer full stop. Uh, splitting the G, of course, being a load of old bollocks. So, uh, yeah, let's get this uh, in the can. In the can, it's already in the can. Let's get this in the glass. We'll get it sniffed, we'll get it slurped. Then I'll go to the pub and we can all go about our uh, our daily lives. So yeah, here we go. We'll get this in there. I actually got absolutely rat ass pissed on the original version of this um, a good many years ago now. It was uh, actually, I think it's about either four or five years. It could even be three years. It was a couple of years ago. Uh, I think to the day where... Um, I was out drinking at my friend Jamie's birthday party. He'd hired the entire ground floor of the Barley Twist in Nottingham. And I was uh, drinking and chugging. Look at that, that's an absolute belter there. If we'll get to take a little photo of that. Yeah, and I was, this was on draft upstairs. There was Emperor's Brewery beers on draft downstairs. There was Avonston IPAs. It was pretty much all free. It's the most drunk I ever got. I actually drank so much that night I nearly died. Like, honest to God, legit nearly died. And that's not like a um, an over-exaggeration. I got home that night, passed out, sitting up in the couch with my head back and threw up into my mouth and um, was choking on my own sick. And it was actually my partner at the time uh, coming out, heard it, it woke her up, it came downstairs and basically stopped me choking to death. So I have a lot of fond memories of this beer, you know, uh, Amundsen Imperial Stouts, they mean a lot to me, um, you know. So uh, yeah, that's an uh, honest to God, honest to God, true story that. Back when I was uh, chugging with Damien from Emperors, uh, Mr. Fenton from uh, Jewel, a lot of the old sort of uh, UK CBF uh, heavyweight uh, chuggy boys and girls. So uh, yeah, but, uh, oh, and obviously Kim, that's why I said girls, Kim from Jewel as well. So yeah, she was probably wearing five or six different types of denim that evening as well. Well, you can, it's got a sort of, uh, I actually don't know, I, I could be completely wrong, this could be rum barrel finish, but uh, it does actually just say, just as barrel aged, it has a sort of bourbon barrel sort of finish. Smell to it. I think this might be, I don't know what the candle on date was, bear me two seconds, I'll have to take the old, uh, the old shades off so you can see the, uh, the baby blues. <laughs> when was this actually canned on? Let's have a look up there. Best before. No, it hasn't got a canned on date, but um, 
I think I've had this for maybe a year. So I'm expecting the adjuncts to have faded a little bit. But um, to be honest with you, at the minute, I'm only really getting the barrel aging. And with that, obviously, the vanilla that comes with that. A little bit of smokiness from the maple. But anyway, that's enough of that. I'm bloody gasping here. Let's get it bloody slurped, shall we? Mm. That is absolutely magnificent. Mm. Oh, a lot of people would say this represents everything that's wrong with craft beer. The, the, why can't beer taste like beer crybabies? Who I, I've not mentioned them for a little while. You know, the why can't beer taste like beer cooks? They would, they would hate this. This is bonkers. It's all over the place in the best possible way. I did. I could have sworn it was fourteen point five percent in previous years, but that doesn't matter. I think when you reach that sort of ABV, if you're going to moan about it, you're a bit of a little uh, wonder. To be perfectly honest with you, but um, oh, that's ridiculous. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. It's definitely sweet. There's no two ways about that. But it's not even close to the sweet of the um, the Vault City that I had the other day. It's actually quite grown up. I mean, it's as grown up as a cinnamon donut with sticky toffee and maple glaze ultra paste stout can be. Definitely a little bit of cinnamon there. It's more sort of like the sticky toffee's there, but more so in the, uh, I mean, it, well, the sticky toffee's there in the fact that this is thick and sticky as out. So there's definitely sticky toffee in that respect. But it's more sticky toffee pudding in the like sort of like when it's really date heavy. There's definitely like a date figgy Pedro Jimenez, Pedro Jimenez to this one as well. As as I'd expect with an Amundsen beer, there is not a hint of its ABV. That is, there's not a hint of its ABV, but at this like there's no alcohol burn, but you just have that thing that you, if you were having this if in a blind tasting, I think you'd be able to tell it was high ABV without the alcohol burn, which I don't think there's any logic or science that proves that. But uh, again, if you want logic and science, um, watch the logic and science show, which probably exists. But yeah, this is an absolute belter. And uh, as like a lot of people, like a lot of things, which has been... Uh, a criticism I have received and I have taken on board. I say I've taken on board, I've heard. Um, yeah, this is something that I bought like a year ago. So if you do like the sound of it, well, I can't really think of any way you can buy it. So uh, that's where I'm going wrong. I think that's why when I see these videos of someone drinking a bottle of Heineken and it gets 700 views in the first hour, it's because it's quite accessible, isn't it? I think that's where I have been going wrong. Uh, I'm not going to drink Heineken on the channel, obviously, because um, I'm not a hack. But uh, I'll tell you what, I can see why people do it. I can see why people bloody well Scooby do it. Oh, that is an absolute belter. Um, yeah, so another Friday in December. Another, well, I say this is the first Friday I've posted in December, isn't it? What's the date? Yeah, I think this is the first Friday I've posted in December. But yeah, this is a nice, delicious, high ABV stupid sticky big imperial stout from Amundsen. i've absolutely thoroughly enjoyed that and uh yeah i'm gonna go back to watching brooklyn 99 or something um i'm not too sure what the next i'm gonna try and get like my next video up on monday for you i will try and make it be try and make it be i'll try and get it um up before midday and with any luck it should be this year's neon raptor centaur army release um I'll definitely try and get that up Monday day. If I can get a can of the barrel aged on Monday day, I will do that Monday night and get that posted as well. I'll come straight home and get that posted and we'll get that done, dusted and sorted. 
we can get them out of the way because obviously center army was always going to be one of the things well, if i get enough cans of it i might do uh, last year's versus this year's version as well because i know last year it was 13.5 percent this year it's 12 slight drop in abv but um the, the taste will still be fantastic i know that for an absolute fact um so yeah, thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, we kind of lost it a bit towards the end, but I still think uh, we've done all right in the grand scheme of things. Um, yeah. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, yeah, and uh, join me um, next time for more like shorts of dogs, cats, uh, and uh, me drinking beer in my bedroom, which regardless of what people says, isn't tragic. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. But yeah, thank you very much indeed for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll, uh, I'll see, I'm going to keep this going for another few more seconds so I can hit the 11 minute mark. Not that that makes any difference. It just means I get to say I've done an 11 minute video. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, that's four times, five times. That's like, yeah, I've seen a bit in a bit.